Hi Sunderland fans, I'm here with the transfer news for this week and the rumours going on. So the good news is that apparently West Ham have given up the chase for Jack Clark because they won't meet the £20 million valuation. So whether he goes at the end of the season or not is another story. But as it stands, we are, should hopefully be able to hold on to him through this window. So fingers crossed on that front. Um, one of the players that's still being keenly linked uh, is a striker, Kiefer Moore. Um, so Sunderland's one of several championship clubs in for it. So for me, it's all about um, we are altering our approach to get an experienced player, but it's whether we can fork out the wage contribution that they may require, especially if other clubs are in for that. They might be willing to pay a higher percentage towards his wages than we are. So that's yet to be seen whether we can secure a deal on that front for a loan for Kiefer Moore. Another striker on the horizon, apparently, a Liverpool striker. But not that Liverpool. It's Liverpool FC Montevideo. And this is Luciano Rodriguez. So reports are saying that Sunderland are keen on a deal for Luciano from Liverpool. Um, it's been claimed that Sunderland Chief Stuart Harvey has been scouting the striker. Um, who's apparently valued at 8 million, according to the report I read. Uh, looking into it a bit further, I believe his value is currently at about 4.5, if you believe the transfer market site. Um, another striker is Kwam Poku. Um, so it's been suggested that Sunderland, West Brom, Millwall, Ipswich, Bristol City and Stoke are among the clubs looking at the 22-year-old forward. Um, he's currently in League One with Peterborough. And he's got nine goals, nine assists in 33 appearances. Now, that seems like more like a young option, like we've already got um, a potential up-and-comer, not the experienced striker that I think we need. Next on my list of rumours, um, I'm going to butcher this. I'll pre it's called Bogdan. Bogdan Mayakalichenko. I hope I did that justice. Uh, Sunderland have been credited with an interest in the Ukrainian international um, who has fallen out of favour with a Croatian club, Dynamo Zagreb, according to the Croatian paper uh, Rijega Danas. A number of clubs are tracking the 26-year-old situation. So he's 26, so... Possibly a lot more experience there um, compared to some of the youngsters. So we'll see. And we've already got a Ukrainian striker up front with Rusin. So what a combination that could be. And that avoids a language barrier if you've got two of them. So that's possibly one to watch. Uh, so we're also apparently tracking a Nathaniel Adje. Um, apparently Sunderland and Middlesbrough are both in a race for this six foot two Ghanaian player um, with championship rivals Preston North End also said to be interested. Um, so I don't really know much about him at the moment, um, So, but he's one to look at. I'll make sure I add all these names in the comments in the description below so you can Google it without actually having to try and figure out what I'm saying. And last but by no means least, we have yet again refired the talk of Ahmed Diallo. Um, so we've been relinked with the Man United attacking midfielder. Um, we all know he was wonderful when he was here, he was amazing when he was here. Whether Mowbray was the make or break to get that player in or not is yet to be seen. But he changed our season round when we got him last and maybe... He could be the man to do it again. One of the negatives of the transfer market at the moment is the negatives for us as a club is Patterson. Now, the Liverpool interest was expressed quite early on um, this week, but now it's come about that City and Arsenal could also be interested in. So, I mean, our owners could be rubbing their hands together here, expecting a bidding war for the youngster um, and whether he wants to go somewhere where he is going to be second string to one of these major keepers money's going to play a massive factor in this one um, if they come in with a silly offer I mean I don't think our club would say no but I don't think we've got anyone ready to fill his shoes so this is going to be a really difficult one if they come in and poach Patterson out from under us 
then we're going to be left in a situation with a very inexperienced goalkeeper between the sticks and scrambling around trying to find somebody available. So let me know if I've missed any of my little list here, if you've heard more than I've heard and any news you've got. And as always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. It really does help every single video. Thanks again. See ya.